Mostly all these supplies are from the Dollar Tree. Getting started, I'm using one of the white socks as the body. I'm then going to fill it with my bath salts. Filling the body is quick and easy. You simply slide the sock over the end of the open container. You can make your gnome any size you'd like. I use about one and a half containers of the bath salt. You tie off the open end with an elastic and I actually like to follow it up with not just an elastic but also using a hairband. Using your scissors, cut down the center of the sock top. Then just tie off a couple of knots. For this gnome, I decided to use this pattern sock. You'll only need one and all you do is simply slide it over the base of the gnome body. Once he's dressed, using your glue gun, attach both sock tops together. Adding his top hat is super easy. You're going to slide the two pieces of the white sock into the top of the hat and then secure it all together with your glue gun. You'll only need one of these orange palms as a gnome beard, but I grabbed a handful. I removed it from the package and then I cut the back open and I couldn't believe what they had hidden inside. It was some additional faux fur, which I don't need for this project, but I will definitely hang on to and use in the future. I flattened out the orange fabric and I really like the shape, so I didn't even need to cut it. And all I did was place it up against my gnome, making sure that I tucked it up against his hat. With my glue gun, I'm only attaching the bottom part of the beard to the body. The reason we're not attaching the beard completely to the body is because we have to add the nose. But before we add the nose, I'm going to give my gnome a little pair of feet. I trimmed the sides and the stem from the shamrock and then attached it to the bottom of the gnome with some hot glue. To make this gnome's nose, I'm painting a ping pong ball. Once it's dry, I'm ready to attach it. I pulled away the top part of the beard, decided where I was going to place the nose, and then using my scissors, I cut a little V in the beard. With that complete, I could now add the nose. I then placed a dot of glue where I wanted my nose positioned, then simply pressed it into place. Now that your nose is attached, use your glue gun to attach the rest of the beard. Now that my gnome is put together, he looks like he may be in need of a little haircut. So using my scissors, I'm just trimming up the sides of his beard. Once he's all trimmed up, you can leave him as is. For my gnome, I'm going to give him a shamrock pipe. It's super easy to make. I'm using one of the candle snuffers from the Dollar Tree. The end is detachable, so I'm removing it. Then using some E6000, I'm attaching the two pieces together. The bottom of the cone is movable, so I placed some E6000 on that. I then added the piece that I detached up under the cone, then added some E6000 along the length of the base. Using scotch tape, I attached it to a piece of waxed paper, then allowed 24 hours for it to dry. Once my pipe was dry, I shortened it a bit by cutting the extra piece of metal on the end. I decided to paint mine this pretty gold color, but you could paint yours any color you like. I don't have any gold spray paint on hand, so that's why I'm using my acrylic paint. But if you have spray paint, it would definitely work up much quicker. I'm going to cut some of the shamrocks from this shamrock garland. Once you're done, all you need to do is use your hot glue gun and attach them to the inside of the pipe. I continued gluing them in until the pipe was full of shamrocks. I decided to add a simple accent to the pipe. I'm using a green pencil and all I'm doing 
is just adding a little accent line around the edge of the pipe. Attaching the pipe to the gnome, you'll need to use your scissors. I decided where I wanted to attach the pipe, and then using my scissors, I moved them back and forth to make a hole through the beard and into the body of the gnome. After that, I just worked the end of the pipe into the hole. Now that it was in place, I just secured it with a little dab of hot glue. This leprechaun is pretty much ready for St. Patrick's Day, but I did have a little piece of extra beard left over, and I decided to add it under his nose. And once that was done, he is complete. For this gnome, we're going to follow the exact same instructions as we did for our first gnome. I chose the Argyle and Shamrock pattern sock, and all I'm doing is removing the foot part, sliding it over the body, and then securing the bottom with my glue gun. Once again, I'm cutting the white ends of the sock in half, and then knotting it. I'm pulling the end of the sock up over the white knots. I'm using another one of my flattened palms as his beard. I placed some hot glue along the inside edges, then attached it to the front of the gnome, making sure to leave room for the hat. I'm adding some arms to this gnome, and all I'm doing is cutting off the top and the bottom of the sock mate. I'm then cutting it in half lengthwise. I'm now opening up one side, and using my glue gun, I'm going to run a line of glue in the center. I'm folding one side in, and then I'm doing the exact same thing for the other side. You're going to do this for both sections of the sock, and when you're done, you'll have two arms. Using your hot glue gun, you're just going to finish off the arms by closing both of the ends. Now your arms are complete. To make the hat for the gnome, we need to remove it from the headband. Once it's free, cut it away from the side pieces. Very carefully, using your scissors, cut away the stitching. Then gently pull apart the two sections. For this hat to fit over your gnome's head, you're going to need to cut off the two top pieces of the white sock. Then slide the little St. Patrick's Day hat right over the top of the gnome. Once that's in place, we're now going to add his arms. Decide where you would like them to end up in the front, and then just hot glue them to the sides of your gnome. My leprechaun gnome is going to be holding a little foam shamrock. I'm using my hot glue gun to glue it to his hands. I'm attaching his nose with some hot glue. Once that's in place, I pull the hat down, tuck it around, and secure it with my hot glue. To finish, I used another one of the sparkly shamrocks and made him a set of feet then used my glue gun to attach them. To give this gnome a little bit of personality, I decided to move his hair just a bit and give him a mustache. And now he is ready to celebrate. For the girl gnome, I'm making the same bath salt body. And I'm also using one additional white sock as the outside covering. Once again, I'm cutting the ends of the sock and knotting them. Then using a hairband to secure the two socks together. For her hat, I'm using this cute pair of striped St. Patrick's Day socks. I'm cutting each pair in half on the back seam.
I'm then cutting off the heavy elastic ends. I'm placing front sides together and then matching the pattern. I'm then gluing the pieces together. If you have a sewing machine, that will make this project even neater. I'm just trying to do this all with a glue gun. Once you're done gluing it all back together, just clip off the end toe part. Now your hat has two open ends. I'm using my six bendable curlers. I'm hot gluing three to the upper part of the hat. Now I'm going to fold the bottom ends over and give myself a nice little hem. Once you're done, turn your hat inside out. I'm now attaching the last three bendable curlers to the top of the gnome body. I'm making some braids for my gnome, so I'm using this pretty orange hair. I decided how long I wanted her braids to be, and then I cut the hair away from the package. Once I found the center of her hair, I used a hair band to secure it. I used the gnome's body to weigh down the center of the hair so that I could braid it. And when I was done, I used another hair band to end the braid. Using my glue gun, I attached the braids to the back of the gnome's head, making sure that they were centered. I then added a little hot glue to both sides. To close off the end of the hat, I used a white tie wrap. Now that the end of the hat is closed, I filled it with some batting. Once that was done, I then slipped the hat over the gnome's head, sliding the bendable rollers over each other. I pulled the sides of the hat down evenly on each side of the gnome and then hot glued them into place. I then glued the back of the hat. I decided where I wanted her nose to be placed and then using my hot glue gun, I attached the top and the bottom. I had some buttons on hand, so I'm using this orange button and the green. I'm just gluing one on top of the other and then adding them to the front of the gnome as an accent. To top off her hat, I'm adding one of these sparkly shamrocks from one of the headbands. I'm using some hot glue to attach it. I'm using this pretty sparkly green ribbon that I had left over from Christmas, and all I'm doing is making two bows for the front of her braids. It's a little difficult to work with, but after I manipulated it a bit, I finally got it into two little bows. I hot glued a piece of matching ribbon to cover the hair bands. Once that was done, I just attached a little bow to each braid. Now we're going to give her the same little pair of shamrock feet that I gave the past two gnomes. To finish up my girl gnome, I'm going to make a bow out of this really cute orange polka dot ribbon. I'm adding the bow to her hat with a little bit of hot glue. A little bend of her hat and she is ready for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.